so if condition you can say if condition is a control statement as well as the switch is also a control statement but if is used generally for the range condition it is used for the range and switch is used when you want to check for the equality when your possibility is fixed possibility is fixed at that time you can use a switch and where your possibility is not fixed which value will come that we don't know we know the range at that time we can use the if and when the possibility is fixed at that time we can use the switch switch is used best when you have the or condition with the multiple equality for example in my previous program of if condition we discussed about that is if month equal to equal to 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 8 or 10 or 12 we all knows this is the fixed value that is 1 3 5 7 8 10 and 12 not more than this not less than this one thing second thing all this value is in equality as well as in or case at that time the switch is the best to do the same program. So how switch will work? It is very simple. Here in a switch, you can pass any expression or you can pass any value. Here you can write case. If this value is match with the case, if this value is match with the case, then this particular portion will be executed until and unless it reaches to the break so if you are not writing any break then the next case will also be executed so here you can write another case another value and you can write the break but remember student you cannot write the value that is duplicate case value in a switch case each and every case value must be unique one point second point you need to remember that is what you can write the break statement. Break statement is the optional statement. So you can skip the break also. If you are skipping the break, then the, all the case will be executed once it match the case. You can write the default if it not match with the any case. So default means it is like a else condition in if statement. Default is available in switch. Default means if any case is not match, it will execute the default. If it is a last case, then no need to write the break. Why? Because already after the last case, our switch will be break. Break statement is used to break from the loop as well as break statement is used to break from the switch case. So here you can use the break statement to break from the switch. So if any case is match, it will execute that particular case and then it will simply break from the switch case. So let me give the example for the same. So suppose this is my earlier program and the program is if month equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, then the month has the 31 days. I want to convert this particular program in switch case. So it is very simple. You can save this program as switch demo one dot job. Now I'm writing here class name is switch demo one. Now I'm getting the input from the user. Now I'm writing here switch and I'm passing the month. Here you can write the case. So I'm writing here case. If it is a one, if the case is three, if the case is five, if the case is seven, if the case is 8, if the case is 10 or the case is 12, then I just want to print the message and that is what the month has 31 days. And after this, you can write the break. So what happened? If any month come, that is for example, month is 1, then it will execute all the case and after that it will print the month has 31 days. If it is a 5, then from here, all the case will be executed. If it is a 10, then from here, all the case will be executed and it will print the 10th month has the 
31 days. But if the case is not from any of these, then here you can write another case. If it is a 4, if it is a 6, if it is a 9 or if it is a 11, then I want to print the message and that is what? That the month has 30 days. And here you can write the break. So, if any of this case is matched, then it will print 31 days. If any of this case is matched, then it will print month has 30 days. And here you can write case, for example, 2. If it is a 2, it means that the month has either 28 or 29 days. And if any of this case is not matched, then you can write here that is default. So in case of default, we can write system.out.println and we can print bogus month. So if any case is matched, for example, if your input is a 7, then from here all the case will be executed and after that 31 days will be printed. But after that, you are writing break. So this all case will not be executed. But if the input is not in range of this all, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, then it will simply print that bogus month. You can save this and you can compile over here. That is Java C. Switch demo one dot job. I need to write here that is column. Now here you can write Java C. Switch demo one dot job. Then you can write Java switch demo one. Then it is asking me for the month. For example, month is two. Then February has 28 or 29 days. Suppose month is nine, then 30 days. Suppose month is, for example, 5, then 31 days. And suppose month is, for example, 14, then it is a bogus month. Now I want to give you one more example of the switch case. And that is what? Generally what happens, depend upon the requirement, people are writing the break for the each and every case. One more thing, you can write default anywhere in your switch statement. Suppose I am writing here default if i am writing default first right if i am writing default first then what happens? if i am writing default first and i am compiling this particular program and if suppose i am providing the value and the value is for example 3 then it's okay march has 31 days but suppose if i am providing bogus input that is 14 then what happens? your default will print the bogus month and after that until and unless it reaches to the break, it will execute all the statement that it comes in between this. So it will print bogus month as well as month has 31 days. Right. So month 14 has 31 days. It will print like this. Then what to do in this case? If default is first, then you need to write the break. No need to write the break after the last case. No need to write the break after the last case. So if you write this, write like this, now it will not give you the message that the 14 has 31 days. It will give you bogus month. And suppose if you're providing the 2, then it will execute the month 2 as 28 or 29 days. Why? Because after this particular case, there is no break statement is required. Why? Because it is the last case and after that already switch will be break. You can provide the string also in a switch case. Let me give the demonstration for the same. Suppose I am saving this program as a switch demo 2.java. Now I am writing here that is enter state. Right. I am taking here that is string state is equal to s dot next line. Now I am writing passing here switch state. Now if the case is, for example, if the state is, for example, Gujarat, right, then I want to print the message that the language is Gujarati. 
and I am writing here break. So if you pass here Gujarat, then I am printing here message that is language is equal to Gujarati. Suppose if the state passed by the user and that is Maharashtra, then I want to print here that the language is equal to Marathi, right? If state is equal to, for example, Tamil Nadu, then I want to print here message that is language is equal to that is Tamil and break. And if it is a default case, then I want to print the message and that is language is equal to Hindi if you are an Indian. Why? Because the national language is Hindi. Now I am just compiling this particular code that is Java C switch demo 2. Now I am passing the state. For example, if the state is that is Tamil Nadu, then it says that language is equal to Tamil. Suppose if I am passing here Gujarat, then the language is equal to Gujarati. Suppose I am passing here Maharashtra, language is equal to Marathi. And suppose I am passing here Goa, then the Hindi if you are an Indian. So in short, you can say that you can match the case with the string also. And you can write the break for each and every case. So if it is match, then it will execute that particular case. And if it is not match, then if it will check for another case. If any case is not match, then it will simply execute the default. And there is no need to write the break after the last case. And you can write the default at anywhere in your code.